Shut your mouth! You stupid motherfucker! What the fuck? Truck drivers. Hear me! Can I have your attention? <laughs> What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And we're here with another Trucker's Reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to, we're going to be reacting to a few videos, a couple of meltdowns, and a couple of incidents that we're going to, that we're going to turn into teachable moments. So without further ado, man, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. You stupid motherfucker! What the fuck? You stupid cocksucker! What in the fuck? The fuck? God damn it! What the fuck were you thinking? I don't think he was thinking about anything, my G. <laughs> oh, my God. This owner operator, he must be an owner operator because he popped his cork real quick. Now, look, you know, incidents like this happens in the trucking world. You know, sometimes we can get over it. Sometimes we can't get over it. But the guy in the looks like the other truck definitely was not paying attention, definitely was not focused on what he was doing and definitely not looking in the mirror to see how close that he was to this nice powder blue Peter belt, man, just messed up my man's whole day right here. You stupid motherfucker! What the fuck? Daddy, you stupid cocksucker! What in the fuck? The fuck? God damn it! At the hospital. Administration is right here. I'm going Get to the there. emergency room, sir. Get in there. Where? Get out of my car now. Where is my Get destination? Get out of my car now. Sir, I'm asking you. Get out you of my car now. I have the right to tell you when to get out of my car, I it's am, right now. I don't know where I am. I'm asking you where is my destination, if you will kindly point I at where I am I pulled into your destination. It said here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said 1760. Get out of my car now. Sir, it said- Get out of my car now! Why are you yelling at me? Because you won't fucking get out of my car! But Man, Uber passengers just be on the most, man. Now, I know this video is kind of old, but I kind of brought it back because of the because of the cork pop on the previous video with the owner operator that's like flipped his lid. God damn it. You stupid motherfucker. What the fuck? But this this uber passenger is really doing it to this driver man i mean come on look you you guys think y'all entitled when y'all be getting in these people's cars no you're not somebody tells you to get out of their car get out of their car it's just that simple simple i don't understand why you sitting there recording this man having a serious meltdown like seriously you 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 doing that shit on fucking purpose man and that's what some of these people do they they get in these people's cars and and just do shit just to get a fucking reaction fucking goddamn property get out now okay all right all right hey take a deep all right no stop talking back to me god damn it i'm not talking back to you. yes you are I'm trying to. I'm fucking gonna quit right now! I'm trying to. You want me to just quit right now? Hey, everybody, you fucking walk. Does everybody wanna fucking walk out? What's All right! Stop talking back to me! This is a stressful job! Wait, 
Is that the same guy? Is that the same guy from the Uber? Fucking goddamn property! Get out! Now! Dude, you're not Ubering no more. You went to, you, you, you got on a bus, you got your CDLB, and man, you just keep running into inconsiderate people, bruh. <laughs> I'm having a stressful day. I don't want to hear you back talk. Let me just vent. I'm just venting. Okay. I'm seven minutes down. Right. I'm sick and tired. It's not all right. I'm going to get written up for it. You don't do my job. You don't know what you're talking about. But I know you got to be a good job or you wouldn't be here. You need to chill. Just let me vent and don't talk back. Just ignore me. The best thing you can do. You see, you're not ignoring me. You're talking back. I am telling you to calm down. I don't want to calm down. You need to because you are out of control. Because you keep you, you you keep egging this dude on. What the fuck, man? Why don't you go ahead, sit down, enjoy the ride, get and, and and just get off where you need to be getting off at. The man already told you that ignore him. He's just vitting, right? And you just keep Egging this dude on. What the fuck, man? I know, and you've you never see? done ours. See, there you go. Because I'll sit here all day if you want to keep talking back. I'll sit here all day. Stand up at the stop so I can see you like oh, this. Man, I told you to yell at At least wave your hand so I can see you at the stop. I was looking at least wave your hand. Go ahead, you can record me. I don't care. We don't want to record you. We just it's too late. He's going to put that his recording on the RTs. I don't care. I don't care if I get fired. I'm sick and tired of people. No. I can't do everything. I can't read okay. your mind. Okay, we can't either read your mind. Are you getting off here? No, I'm getting off further down, but I'll let you know and I'll still tell you thank you and have a safe night. I have a fucking nervous breakdown. Excuse me, don't use the F word. You're the driver. Oh my God, she said don't use the F word, but didn't she use the F word earlier? Stop, man. This extra board, this bullshit. Hey, I'm an extra board, too, but I'm not cussing. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm on different shifts. Okay, you've never done this job. I know. And I, I have to deal with tweakers, okay. drug addicts, I know. mental cases, okay. people threatening me. Wow. I've had it. That's discrimination. You are out of line. Why was it discrimination? What are you talking about? I'm calling Metro. Wow, I'm calling Metro on your ass because it's discrimination. Where, where's the discrimination at, lady? Where is the discrimination at? I mean, you're over here keep egging this dude on to the point of your narrative. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna turn around and say, "Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and call Metro on you because you being discriminative." Really? The man over here having a hard night at work, and you just. You just keep egging him on like, wow. What do we got here? Okay, we, we got a door dasher. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Man. Are you fucking joking? Nope, not joking at all. You know, they say that truck drivers have the most worst jobs in the world. Nah, these highway workers have the worst jobs in the world, man. Especially with these trucks not even slowing down, not even showing courtesy, bro. 
You know, you will spend years if if you hit and kill one of these highway workers, man. Come on now, slow down to like at least 30. And this, and the white truck, the first truck was like super close to this dude, man. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this type of job, really. I mean, I was a road service provider back in the day, and I did a whole bunch of highway uh tire changes and all like that and it was crazy that they didn't even respect us enough to pull i mean this you know move over move over you know now i understand these trucks right here can't can't move over or anything but they damn slow they damn show can slow down <laughs> Yo, lesson here, bae. When you're on your cell phone and you're not paying attention, shit like that happens. Shit like that happens, man. You 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 can't be on the phone and 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 drive at the same time. It's just not possible. It's not possible to do. I mean, this car right here came out of nowhere. And if you was paying attention, you probably would have seen it. You probably would have seen it. I mean, I know it came out of nowhere and it came fast and the reaction time is kind of kind of slow. But you made your reaction time a little bit more slower by not paying attention and being on the cell phone. So we're dozing off. Yeah, that's that's what we doing. We're dozing off. We we didn't get enough sleep. So we're dozing off. We're veering. We're veering. We're veering. We're veering. We're veering. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, my God. Mm. Teachable moment. Okay. Teachable moment. Look, people, you need your rest. You, you need your rest. You know, 10 hours eight of those hours you need to you need to get some sleep you need to get some proper rest so you could be fully rested and fully uh attentive when you're driving now i understand long drives you tend to get you know you tend to get fatigued and everything like that but if that's the case you need to pull over and get some rest you know, walk outside, get the adrenaline pumping a little bit. I understand. You know, we sit in the, you know, we sit in the driver's seat for at least eleven hours or eight hours before we can even take a thirty minute break. And I get it. I get it. You know, it happens to me. I had to pull over sometimes and maybe take about a quick cat nap or something like that just to get back at it. But bro, listen, when y'all get in here and y'all don't have no sleep, stuff like this happens. Wow, man, you know, watching this video right here is hurtful. I mean, it, it really is. It really is hurtful because just like the tag says, life can change in an instant. Truck on the side of that white van wasn't paying attention, which forced the van into the truck driver's pathway and forced the situation that happened afterwards i'm hoping that the, the the driver is okay after you know after that happened um so again everybody you know just be safe out there pay attention give your space not everything has to be in a hurry you know not everything has to be in a hurry you just got to take your time if you can't get there on time, man, just call your fleet manager and just let them know, like, yo, you know, traffic's backed up or whatever the case that may be slowing you down. 
because your life is not worth the the load that you're taking, man. So just take it easy. And uh, now I hope everybody uh, be safe out there, man. So that's going to do it for the Lockout Man podcast show, man. I really do appreciate you guys watching and everything. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It works. It helps. It pass on the, pass on the algorithm and all that other good stuff. Don't forget to catch me on all of my podcast platforms and TikTok and Instagram. And if you like what I do over here, I really do appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get notified when new videos drop. Yo, I am Lockout Man and I'm out. God damn it. You stupid motherfucker. What the fuck?